Sad news. Chuck Knoll, the coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, the first coach to not just bring them winning seasons, but bring them multiple Super Bowl wins, passed away. He was, was 82, which really gets to me personally because here I'm down here in Georgia. My mom will turn 80 this fall, October 1st, and I'm the only child. And, well, you get the idea. Excuse the digression, but when you hear someone dying 80 and that sort of thing, it just, it just gets to you. At any rate, Chuck Knoll was a person who was very much a part of my life as a fan of professional football, and perhaps yours too, because as an Oakland Raiders fan, he made it very difficult for me to be very happy at the end of certain football games, football playoff games during the 70s that featured the Raiders and his Pittsburgh Steelers. And I firmly believe that the reason the Steelers were so good in one for Super Bowl is because they, were cons because they were consistently pushed by the Oakland Raiders. In fact, the blood was so bad between the two organizations that they even wound up in court accusing each other of having criminal elements on their team. Wow, those were the days. But many people don't know, when they think of Chuck Noll, they think of winning as they should. They think of the emergence of the Pittsburgh Steelers as a power because the Steelers were lovable losers before he came on the scene in, I believe, 1972. And, of course, he bought, brought them their first Super Bowl championship in 74. But when I think of Chuck Knoll, this is what I think of. This is called the pinch 4-3 defense that Coach Knoll developed with Bud Carson, who was then the Steelers' defensive coordinator. Now, of course, the 4-3 are four down linemen, these triangles, three linebackers, these squares, and then, of course, the four defensive backs, these circles. But what was unique about the pinch 4-3, if I can get a little illustrator here, was the alignment of the two tackles here, right in the center, right over the center. Joe Green, right here, and right next to him occasionally would be John Banizak. But the bottom line is they would double team on the center, and it, it caused the, the guards, offensive guards here, to constrict, and the entire offensive line splits were shorter to deal with the havoc that was caused here and it made runs up the middle extremely difficult but it had an additional advantage in that it shortened the distance from pass rusher to quarterback and they got a lot of sacks in that way. It was very effective. This alignment was adopted by Tony Dungy and became known as the center of the Tampa 2 defense where this tackle at the angle became known as something still today called the three technique tackle. So all of this can be credited to Chuck Knoll. In fact, Tony Dungy was his defensive back, his free safety over here during his years. So that's when I think of Chuck Knoll, I think of the pinch 4-3, his major contribution to pro football aside from the use of a heavy trap game offensively where an offensive lineman comes across and blocks an unsuspecting defensive lineman leading room for the running back to find the hole up the middle and run for big gains as Franco Harris did. Chuck Knoll. I can't say rest in peace because I can't imagine him as not being alive. A great man, a signpost on the zeitgeist.